Bag fuel, baby. Right. Huh? How do you deal with the looks you might have gotten when you first came in? Because I remember when I started going to hockey games, I was telling that, so we were literally on the glass, and everyone just like, what the f is you, going on? You ever got out in your car on 125 and walked, walked into a store, and everybody hanging on the court, the looks they give you? Because mm -hmm. you got a fly car? And, yeah. Same thing? I know they would, I know they real, I know they about they shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was on my game. Yeah. Mm. No, no look that they gonna give me that I'm getting out. I'm not already on my game. So gotcha. I don't even look at it like that. It's all the same. It's all thing. the same. Like, you know, if, if, if you don't like me, you just, it's your problem. I don't really, I'm not gonna really lose my, lose my, 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 my day because they get out and I see that person is mm -hmm. racist. You know what I'm saying? Or gotcha. look at me. Now, if they say I have people said something, you know, and that's different category. Now, now you approach me and say, just like if somebody approached you on the street and say something's different. Yeah. But, the looks don't bother me. Mm -hmm. What about that noose thing that had was going around with the Bubba Wallace thing a while ago? What What did you feel about that when when you saw it? I, it they they it wasn't a noose. They they thought it was. It was it was it was just the hype of everything but that, but, that was. But, I I know now yeah. that it wasn't. But I'm just saying, what what feeling did it evoke when before it was they going figured on? what was I going? I was like, oh, that's crazy. But it's the same thing after 9/11 when you, everybody had to get. Get an envelope and they throw anthraxes on there. Yeah, Everything just be that. hyped from the situation. Mm -hmm. You see any little thing, you think, oh, it, this is part of this. You know what I mean? It was just a regular rope. But just because George Floyd happened, the thing happened with Bubba running the Black Lives Matter car, and then the noose was there. It's yeah. just with timeline events that made it seem. When he like, ran that car, what was the tension like? Because you know, people don't take too kindly to the word black lives matter in certain and you reasons. and you're right there so you I wasn't know. I wasn't I wasn't racing cuz at that point, moment I report cuz remember that was covid oh okay you know what I mean that 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 happened right before you know that that was right around then so I was not but I was still in the mix of everything mm -hmm. so when it happened I was just like you know I, I you know before this just being candid nobody really paid attention to anybody black when it came to stuff like that in NASCAR. I don't know who came up with the Black Lives Matter car. I don't know if Bubba did or, or the team did. I heard the team. But they went with it. You know what I mean? And the, and, and once they went with it, it, it kind of, you know, made different people look at black lives inside the sport, especially the higher-ups in NASCAR. They got rid of the Confederate flag. They understood, like... I remember, mm. I remember one time, like we was at the track, and um, I was with a couple people, and like this was the time when Kaepernick was kneeling, mm -hmm. and then a whole bunch of us came, you know, friends from the hood, and they was, and and people was looking at my friends like, are they gonna kneel? Gonna start? I'm like, if they do, they do. You know what I mean? That's they right. That's 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 they right to do what they want to do. Yeah. But they looked at them like. Like mm. you know, they was, they, it was bad for them to even feel that way. Yeah. But then the tensions after George Floyd, and they seen what really goes on as a person growing up in Black America and, and white America being black. Mm -hmm. It's different now because they see it. They George Floyd made them see it in real time. Yeah, huh? Yeah. No, I'm in saying real time. Yeah. You know, we 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 they always seen it through the '60s, the '70s, but they never really paid attention to it, mm. right? Like when. Uh, like when the Emmett, bridge yeah, okay. Emmett Till happened, you know what I mean? Yeah. People see visibly seen what happened to this kid, and it, it kind of changed how people was, you know, when when uh, John Lewis got hit and all of them on the bridge, yeah. mm -hmm. it, it changed the looks of you know the president at that time of how it signed a civil rights bill. So it was it was different things, and I think George Floyd did that in this day and age for America to change certain laws. It brought out more racism after the fact, but it still changed. And what way? They bring it out that you saw. I mean, it's just you see it yourself every day. Like it's bad. You know what I mean? Like it. Like people will be like, you, you'll say Black Lives Matter, and they they looking at you like you saying something wrong. Got you. You know. Uh, I got. Yeah. Like I can say Black Lives Matter, I just be saying it. Yeah. <laughs> and they looking at you like you saying something wrong. Like you you're not supposed to say that. Yeah. Huh? A taboo word. It's a taboo word. How how you gonna tell me my life don't matter? Huh? <laughs> That's how they feel. Where did you come up with the New York racing being that you're from Jersey, right? Yeah, from Jersey. So where did the New York mm. racing come, come, come from? Um, because my team was called Extreme Motorsport at the time. Uh, okay. I, that's where I started at. And then I, I took off a season. And then I met with some marketing people. The guy was 
the head of the Giants uh, marketing team, and he was like, why don't you call the New York Racing? He was like, New York is New York. Like, the Giants play in Jersey, you know, and you're from Jersey, but, I mean, New York is where I learned everything anyway, you know what I mean, business-wise, like being around artists, being around, you know, the I, scene. I, 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 you know, I mean? know your background yeah, with the so, scene prior. Yeah, the scene. So, I mean, New York is what molded my marketing team, you know what I mean? I seen how, like, like early, like all in, like never pay for parties and, you know, like just marketing, you know, just being around like the Chirac and, and all all that stuff. I seen how it marketing grew. works. Yeah. I always talk to them about, about marketing. I feel like marketing is the most important thing ever with every business. I every. feel like if you market it correctly and you put the right money behind it, your, your potential to win goes through the roof. I tell every kid how you dress is how you market yourself. No matter what, when you walk outside, the rubber that's your marketing. That's your marketing. If you look doofy, if yeah. you look a girl looks at you a certain way, she she's looking at you. That's part of your marketing. Part of your marketing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's how it's how she mm -hmm. it's how she assumes who you are. Your identity is how you perceive a person perceives you at how any you time. Walk, how, you how you walk, dress, how you talk, how, how you, you dress. stand, yeah. how people relate to you, how you wear your clothes, how you look, all that. Plus, in the hood, like cars was marketing. Still, still, yeah, yeah, still, yeah, still, 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 yeah. You pull up when I'm if if, if I'm going somewhere lit, I, I pull a beam yeah. out. Yeah. If I'm going somewhere where we low, I pull a Cherokee yeah. out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Remember that time we was somewhere? I don't want to say where. And I had the other joint. And I, I told him bring the Bentley. Yo, yeah. this nigga pulls the Bentley up and he parks it far. I'm like, no, nigga, I'm, I'm away here. Pull up. Like, That's my marketing. Pull up That's on me. With that, I was like, bro. stay right there. I was just pull up on me with that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, to, and it's that car, I've never seen a woman who has a problem with a lit car. Yeah. They'll always say, I'm not in the cars. The moment that seat warmer comes, that leather's hitting. But who don't like nice things? Yeah. No, that's, that's the thing that- People that, be fronting like they no, don't. But, but, but see, you, I agree. They be fronting because they don't have it or they can't afford it. Those are always the people to make-, make Yo, that, that stuff don't mean nothing. You know what else, too? People I don't, don't want to look shallow, too. Sometimes people are like, I don't want to be perceived as a gold digger or shallow from a woman's perspective. Maybe that's a deflection. Yeah, but I think everybody, like- we get it. People though. who don't have things, when they go to nice places and experience how the food tastes differently in a good restaurant yeah. compared to an okay restaurant, mm -hmm. when you're in a BMW 750 compared to something else that's 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 not as big and plush. When you drive a car, like like think about this. My challenger, I loved it, right? The, but the driving in, in the BMW is smoother. Mm -hmm. I, I I could drive the BM all day. All, all day long. You know what I'm saying? Because when you pay more money, you get the stuff just tends Speaking to be driving, better. 